wish I would have told myself that being careful and slow is better than being sloppy and fast. Um, I think a lot of accidents happen because people are trying to be efficient and do things quickly and you know cut corners. And when safety is involved and chemicals are involved, that's never a good idea. Uh, professor Aaron Carlson, an associate professor in the Department of Chemistry. I was doing organic synthesis when I had an accident in the lab. So I was synthesizing a molecule that I had generated multiple times before, and I was impatient, so I scaled up the reaction. Um, it was about a 2 gram scale, whereas before I had probably done about 200 milligrams, so 10 times. Um, and I was using a reagent called sodium cyanoborohydride, um, which um, can be dangerous because it involves hydrogen cyanide. Um, so I completed the reaction, everything looked great, I was quenching the reaction. And that's where a little bit of impatience came in, so I was using mild acid to intentionally quench the reagent. It was evolving gas in the hood. Um, so I took the reaction and I put it in a set funnel. Um, I shook it once, and we're talking about a fairly large volume now, a pretty big set funnel, and the whole thing blew up all over me. I was wearing goggles and gloves, and so my whole body was covered. I didn't know if I had been exposed to hydrogen cyanide. I was covered in acid, um, and no one else was in the lab. So I pretty quickly discerned that I hadn't ingested cyanide, because I didn't die. Um, but then I had this whole situation where I was covered in an acidic solution, so I had to quick wash off. I was I was too intimidated to use the shower. I didn't want to make a mess. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. So I tried as much as I could to wash off in the sink, um, my face. I had to strip off my clothes in the lab. Um, and then I went and got a lab coat because it was the only thing I had to wear. So in the end, I actually wasn't burned. I wasn't injured. I lost an expensive reaction. But then I had to pay additional penance because I didn't have any clothes. So I had to walk around with no clothes on with my lab coat and try and beg people for clothing. This was in February in Wisconsin. And I ended up wearing someone's dirty biking shorts home um, in February because that's all I could find. So by all accounts, I was pretty lucky, but it could have been extremely serious. There's a lot of things that I want to make sure my group focuses on in terms of safety. Um, of course, Quenching dangerous reagents is always something that one needs to think about. Um, but also, you know, making sure that you, other people around you are informed. For example, if someone had walked in and seen um, that I was, you know, on the floor, no one knew I was doing a reaction that was evolving hydrogen cyanide. So they wouldn't have known what to do. You know, just really being mindful of the dangers of the reagents we're using. Um, not to be scared, but just to be careful.